y'all about truth, about the ideal and concept of truth. Truth, enlightening minds enterprise, Jura Hassan, the children is all about bettering our social health with the understanding that our social health largely determines how far we get with what we know and what we do. Because while knowledge is power, knowledge is nothing without the discipline to put knowledge into action. And even with putting knowledge into action, it still would not be nothing to you without others to witness, to celebrate, to experience it with you. So understand that our social health, the nature of the human being is very, very important. And that is what Enlightened Minds Enterprise is built on, the better of our social health. With that being said, the topic is truth and how it plays into our perspective of things. You see, most of the time when we're interacting with each other, whether it be on a personal and intimate level or on a more public setting, We find ourselves in these debates. We find ourselves in argument. We find ourselves contending with each other or not liking each other or liking each other based on our perspective, based on our vibe, based on the way we are able to interact with these things. And you see, most of us associate our beliefs, our feelings, our understanding of things, our interpretation of things. We correlate those things with the ideal and concept of truth. Something that can be proven, something that is a fact. You know, we quick to say, Everybody knows that. Well, everybody do that. Well, is you crazy or something? Everybody know that ain't the, you know? That's how we talk to each other. As if we've talked to however many people in the world, the seven point something billion. I think it might be more than that. But whatever the number is, whatever we say, everybody knows. I mean, how many people can we intelligently say that we've actually talked to to make such a factual, confirming, emphasized statement? So, with that understanding about truth and our perspective, one thing. And really the main thing that I wanted to communicate was how careful we need to be when we're expressing the way we feel or things that we believe or the way we see something versus how someone else may feel, see it, or think about it or believe or interpret it or understand it or not. We have to be very careful and mindful. We have to be even sensitive about it because... You see, when you really truly begin to fully understand and grasp in your mind that most of the things that you say, most of the things that you think about, most of the things that you feel is very, is very personal. It 
is your perspective. It is the way you see it. And just because that's the way you see it, that's your perspective, that is your truth. Just because it's that doesn't mean that you have the right to confront another person about them. To express an opinion, calling someone crazy or stupid, or to jump to conclusions of this, that, and other without properly or intelligently investigating your own feelings and assumptions. You know, for myself, even being mindful of uh, uh, being mindful of what I'm explaining to you all. I find it difficult to be <laughs> to be able to tolerate an individual who is very opinionated, very assuming. You know, for an individual to just assume something and cast that assumption on me without intelligently investigating their own feelings and assumptions. Is it is it almost leaves me in a space of believe what you want to believe, think what you want to believe. I mean, think what you want to think. You know, it's like I it, it puts me in a space of where I don't even care to explain if you didn't care to ask. But again, when you think about your truth. When you think about the things that you believe that you stand on, that you believe you got facts about. When you think about the school of thoughts that you follow. And there are many different schools of thought. When you think about the things that you decided to wrap your heart and your feelings and mind around. You must also consider and understand that that's still your personal thing. Because there are many others in the world. There are many truths in the world. There are no original lies. Every lie comes from the truth. Just think about any lie that you think about. Before a lie could be created, there actually has to be a truth. If you don't have anything to determine that it is a lie, then you have to accept it as a truth. But understanding that nobody has a monopoly over truth. Truth is everywhere. There are no original lies. There is no, there is no solid lie. There is no complete lie. You have to understand that when someone creates something, I don't care if it's a whole book. I don't care if it's a whole theology. There's some truth that lies in it. Be patient enough. Be concerned enough. Desire to want to dig into it just a little bit more. And if you don't care enough to do that, they don't care enough to just cast your opinion out on people, your assumption out on people, just because they don't think the way you think or believe as you believe or do things the way you feel that they should do things. I'm telling you, we say I'm antisocial. We say I don't care about the next individual if they like me or not, accept me how I am. But that'll change when you find yourself knocking on the door or needing to enter a door that somebody stands at, have to let you through, whom don't do things as you feel they should, who don't believe as you should, and that may have been somebody whom you have stepped on and whom you have voiced that opinion with. We have to be careful because it. It's very important how we interact with each other. So I'm just giving out this one little old coin, this jewel, this token, that even at the beginning and source of every belief, a truth that you think that you have attained. At some point, of going back and back and back of confirming your belief or your truth is going to reach 
a position where you're going to have to say, well, that's what I believe. That's what works for me.